Okay, paano nga ba ang pagde-divide ng fractions? Actually, ito yung isa sa pinakagusto kong quiz nung ako'y bata pa kasi it looks so intimidating. Let's say, gawa tayo ng 2 over 3 divided by 4 over 5. Kalalampas ko lang nga ng multiplications. Pag multiply ng mga fractions, ngayon may division na tayo. So, nung una akong tignan to ay na-intimidate ako kasi nahirapan Well, medyo nahirapan na nga ako sa multiplication, sa pag-multiply ng fractions, ngayon division pa. Pero huwag kayong ma-fool kasi hindi naman ganun kahirap. Basta alam mo lang yung reciprocal, the word reciprocal. Pro-cal. Kunin mo lang yung reciprocal nito, then you can just multiply. So, to rewrite it, para i-solve natin, let's say, 2 over 3 divided by 4 over 5 ibaligtad mo lang kunin mo lang yung reciprocal nito which is 5 over 4 ibaligtad mo lang yung second term okay so iwan mo lang yung first term yung second term ay ibaligtad mo which is 4 over 5 so magigin siyang 2 over 3 ito yan tapos gawin mong multiplication Kunin mo yung reciprocal niya. Lagay mo dito. 5 over 4. So, now we could just multiply. So, 2 times 5 is equal to 10. And 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Ganun lang. Okay? Okay, hanap pa tayo. Or, solve pa tayo ng isa. Let's see. Let's say, 1 3 divided by one half so ano yung reciprocal natin sa one half it's gonna be two over one right so magigin siyang one over three times wag mong kalimutan yung multiplication palitan mo yung division gawin mong multiplication tapos yung reciprocal ng two over one which I mean one over two which is two over One, so now we can just multiply that. One times two is two over three times one, which is three. Ayos. So yun yung answer natin. Okay. Okay. Another way na makikita natin sa exam or sa school. Gag, pwedeng gawin ng teacher na makikita mo gagawin yung ganyan baka during the week ganito yung gagawin ng teacher let's say 1 over 3 over I mean divided by 3 over 4 pero pagdating sa exam <laughs> laging ganito yung ginagawa ng instructor namin nun. gagawin niya kapag exam na 1 over 3 divided by 3 over 4 di ba ito itong line na to That's a division fraction. Yeah, get the wrong fraction. You more fraction, pa. So this is actually a division sign, right? Kung ganon, gagawin mo lang. Wag ka maintimidate yan. Ganito lang yan. Ito ganon yan. One over three. Ito ang second term yung sa baba. Balik ganon. Ito yung yung division. Yung bar ito yan. And then ilagay mo lang yun. Ito ang sa baba dito sa kanan so ganyan lang bali 1 over 3 divided by 3 over 4 ok para i-solve natin yan anong gagawin dito tayo 1 over 3 wag mong kalimutang i-change yung division into multiplication tapos baligtad mo yan reciprocal as 4 over 3 3 Ang sagot Okay, 1 times 4 Is 4 And 3 times 3 Is 9 So there's our answer Huwag mo lang kalilimutan kapag sinasabi ng Teacher na Reciprocal, yung pangalawang term yun Ibaligtad mo Okay, huwag mong ibaligtad yung ang kalimitang ginagawa ng mga estudyante, let's say 1 over 
uh, divided by 3 over 4 ginagawa nila uh, kung minsan ito yung, yung unang term yung binabaligtad nila yung reciprocal nya or kung minsan nagkakamali sila both terms ina, ano nila, ginagawa nilang baligtad ito lang dapat yung binabaligtad natin okay, palitan natin yan okay also, kapag baka stricto rin yung maging teacher nyo or instructor nyo huwag nyong kalilimutang mag-change ng sign kasi, syempre, let's say 2 over 3 divided by uh, 6 over 9 baka nilagay nyo 2 over 3 divided by 9 over 6 tapos nakuha nyo yung answer kahit natama yung answer nyo kung division nito baka i cross na wrong ah uh, i mark na wrong yan ng instructor nyo kasi division pa rin yan dapat gawin natin gawin nating 2 over 3 times 6 over 9 palitan natin times 6 I mean, 9 over 6. Diba? So, to solve this, 2 times 9 is 18. And 3 times 6 is also 18. Huh. Okay. Well, diba kapag pareho yung um, taas tsaka baba, that's just equal to 1. Right? Pareho lang eh. So, that's one whole so the answer is one okay i hope you learned something again if you have any questions just comment sa baba or don't forget to subscribe marami pa ako yung tuturo okay